Hi and welcome back to Time in the UK. Another Pagani. This is the last one you're going to see on the channel for a good long while. And I bought this in... What's the word for it? Oh, it's damp. Why is it damp? A bit of a... Uh... What's, what's the word for it? Just as a bit of a whim, really. Why is this damp? We seem to have a bit of moisture inside the case and the packaging. There doesn't seem to be any moisture inside any of the cushions or in fact the box so I don't know why we would have moisture in there. Uh, We've removed the sticker. Just first things first, let's feel the bezel action. Yeah, that's pretty. There's a bit of backlash, bit of rock. You've got to remember, guys, though, this is a budget watch. Yes, yeah, so there's a bit of. Uh, there on the bezel action, and if we adjust the time, the time is currently quarter past 12, so if we change the time there to quarter past, you see how things move, you've got your GMT hand, we give it a bit of a wind, if you notice there's a, a red trim to the uh, bezel there for some reason. Winding action feels nice and smooth. Crown feels nice to unwind. Okay, and it winds back up with no problem. You got the Pagani Design logo there, and obviously the Pagani Design logo on the back of the case. Uh, let's just try adjusting the date. So I'm going to change the time so we can see if there's a yep and the date snaps across nice and easy if you turn it the other way the GMT hand moves okay so what you do with this particular watch is you will set the local time first and then you'll move the GMT hand to the time that you want to keep track of which in this case for me let's keep track of GMT which is there isn't it but the only does it move in full hours? Yeah, it moves in full hours. You can't... Well, you can. Yeah, you can feel it clicking as you turn it. Can you set this a little bit off? What I mean is, can you set the GMT five minutes out? Yeah, you can. That's a bit weird, isn't it? The GMT doesn't nestle into its half hour slots. Let's push it back in. So. And there we go. There's no clicking as you turn it. So, for example, we'd have to guess where 20 past 12 is. So, if we were setting it, we'd probably set it about there. And then probably when you get to the hour, you can adjust it to so it's pointing directly at the yeah the correct place. So that's that. We've got the standard Pagani design class, which to be fair is brilliant. We've got the Rolex, I oh, say Rolex. We've got the Tudor Black Bay style strap with the faux rivets and the end pieces with the faux rivets there and the end pieces so I'm just going to get this sized up for my wrist and see what that brings okay I'm back with the Pagani design PD1706 we've got a slightly different um, case there which would require a three pronged tool to take it off or a two prong tool there we've got the solid end links we've got 20 millimeter lugs we've got faux rivets there 
and this particular watch is what I would call a lucky watch and what I mean by that if you look quite closely you'll see that the crown lines up with the rest of the watch that's lucky isn't it we've got a uh, sort of a polished reveal there brush finishing there polished reveal and on the top of the watch you've got like a radial brushing if you can see uh, the end links uh, don't have a radial brushing and there's a slightly different sort of finish the brushing if anything the head of the watch I think the, the finishing is somewhat coarser oh there's a mark on this particular bezel here is that a bit of something will that rub off no we seem to have a bark on the bezel it could be a bit of glue I'm bet, I bet it is I bet that would rub off um, looking at the, the face of the watch we can see you can see that the, um, the indices and the hands are an ever so slightly color different color We've got a nice bright red GNT hand, small little date window there with the dates. Um, uh, I've got to zoom in on this one, see if I can get a better shot there and just sort of try and focus. The date there, it, is it ever so slightly out of line with the date window? Is, is it the dial ever so slightly out? I think it could be date seems to be sitting to the top of the date window a little bit the bezel action is is what it is you know it's not fantastic the printing on the uh, bezel insert as well is a little bit mm, seven out of ten should I say from my point of view and the numbers do seem to be sort of spaced inwardly a little bit more than they are spaced outward but it's really only a fraction it's just if you want to be really really nitpicky about it you know uh, the strap is nice a little bit a little bit jangly okay and the watch head is 40 millimeters across it's a GMT and it's 14 millimeters thick we've got 20 mil lugs that, that uh, scoot down to 18 with a taper and this particular watch weighs in at 161 grams size for my wrist if I add the extra links back in we've got 170 grams in total okay so what do you guys think about this particular Pagani design I've had a couple of uh, GMT's off of Pagani before but generally speaking I've let them go I've never had a Coke GMT. Quality is good. I mean, for what you're going to pay for it, it's uh, quite a good deal, really. There's a couple of minor defects on the finishing, and I'll endeavour to show you. If you look really close, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom right in. And I don't know if you can see it, but if you look really close, is it here? Yeah, there it is. Up really close there you can see the brushing has gone on to the polished section just a tiny hair but you're gonna have to be really fussy to pick that up really aren't you shall we do a loom test on this one I think we should but you can see in the sunlight it's really popping okay so it's time for a loom check on these two particular watches and as a control I've got in the middle, I've got Pagani on the left, Pagani on the right, and in the middle I've got a Seastern, which is 39 uh, Pelagos homage. And the loom was pretty good on the Seastern, so uh, I've put that there as a kind of control. I'm going to leave it for five minutes, so let's kill the lights. So this is under dim lighting conditions, and you can see the Seastern is really glowing if I just shade the door a little bit. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close the door and we'll see what happens to the loom. Bear in mind this loom has been charged out, charged up outside in full daylight for at least 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna speed this up, speed this up at uh, eight times. Uh, so it's gonna uh, be tested for five or 10 minutes and we'll just see what happens. But I think already you can see that the loom on the Pagani designs is somewhat lacking. Thanks for stopping by. Give us a like, comment, and subscribe.